that's what we are doing today with Don's mom and dad. Um, just gonna go have some fun and look at some of the more RVs that they've got out there today. So there's gonna be more to be seen and we will give you a report once we get there. Class C. It's got the over cab bed. I do not like this. Uh, A split bathroom. This is what you do. Let me show your mom. Oh. Yeah, that's how you get out of the shower. Oh, okay. But this bedroom not work. This off, this is the bedroom off. Oh, wow, this is nice. I guess some of my porkiness shows in my taste in hamburger and RV. <laughs> the TV is there. Oh, my word. Let's see. This is a tiny little camper, but it's very effective. You need me helping? Uh, bed way back here. It's adorable. It's a shelving. I think anything about anything could pull this, right? <laughs> yeah. It's great for the amount of space you have there. It's a tiny little thing. And if you look at I love it. The bathroom oh is big. Gosh. The phone package. Look at the bathroom. Oh my goodness, a shower? Yeah, it's got a it shower. It's a shower. No. No slides. Got just very, very small, but it can be pulled by about anything. These mini wings. One thing I will say with the Winnebago is I'm really impressed with the bathrooms. Even in the tiny ones, they're so spacious. If you show them. This is much better. Can you see there's no dinette in this one? It's got the shower. <laughs> Fully functional shower. Like he, Don took our pieces like this off. Yeah. We're going to put real curtains. Yeah. This entertainment area. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And look how big the bathroom is. Oh, yeah. I bet you this bed folds up though. You think so? It might. Yep. It's got storage underneath. Oh that's I, I wish ours had had like that. It does. It does. I didn't think we had hydraulics. Yep. Mm. Isn't this cold? For a, I mean this is a very very tiny thing but for two people. Yeah it's wonderful. great. Well, imagine if you were going to see Jennifer and you just bring your house with you. Mm -hmm. so. This, this is, is really the, cool. This is the one that we looked at yesterday. And look at all the cabinet systems. But they got the bed down this time. Yeah. I can show them how the bed looks. Because this, this is... This is a Murphy bed. That, oh. It's a sofa. It, there's a sofa underneath. I see. And so that can be a sofa oh, or a bed. Look at all the cabinets. And it's got a nice, spacious bathroom. I don't like the flooring in this one. Well, it's not. It, it wouldn't it, do that once you were shopping. Just to let you know. This that, is that, Yeah, that's got protection on it. Yes. So this would drop, and then you've got a bed here. Oh, my goodness. And you can ride back here while well, it's going. Or if you do what I did when I was little, I rode up there in my parents' car. <laughs> I love all the cabinet space in this thing. Oh it's, my goodness. There's so much cabinet space if I can figure out how they open. Yeah, it would. Oh, isn't that nice? And you got your entertainment center right next to your microwave. <laughs> and two sinks, because there's probably not one in the back. Yeah, there is.
Did this I, is a house. Did you notice this yesterday, baby? And I've got to find out where it, there's a dishwasher in here. Somewhere. Oh, it says dishwasher prep. So this, you could have a dishwasher in this as well. Uh, and these, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those, these, are, those fireplaces actually heat. And these um, massage and heat. Yeah, the 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 cow the seat you can get a massage from that chair right now. <laughs> they recline. You gotta hit the button to do it. You see that little desk over here with a blackboard and where he's that's your pantry. Oh, my goodness. Say so you've got four, four Yeah, Nice bedroom. An entertainment area. Yeah, so you can sit outside. Alright, it's got the entertainment center right there. Goes to the bedroom. And there's more than one way to get in the bedroom. There's no sofa, but it's got a big dinette that can probably double as a sofa. And it's just a smaller one. It's got a couple of bunks for the kids. This is similar to KYD. And this is smaller than theirs, so. though. Yeah, they because they have a couch and a. But it's a similar idea. Yeah. She's got a kitchen like this. Yeah, and her, then her, she'd feel at home with this kitchen, probably. I think their bunks are reversed, the bathroom on that side. Right. And they've got... got a murky bed so that's a bed as well as the sofa area yeah the bed folds down oh my goodness and it's got a fireplace very nice bathroom and it's got bunks the small ones you mean yeah, I like the hybrid too, but this is. Yeah, we wanted a real bedroom. That was one thing that was big on our list. We could have made do with something like this, but. Yeah, so you take that. Uh, He's shaking his head. Take that. Take that uh, table. table out. Yeah, it's a sofa. This one is only 3,100 pounds. It is very compact, very small, but very efficient. So if you didn't have a very high towing capacity on your vehicle, you could still get by with this. It's got two bunks, it's got a murky bed over here, and a dinette set over here. It's got a full-size bathroom very very efficient for such a small lightweight vehicle
Oh, it's got a little tiny fold-up TV that goes up that way. This is kind of like ours in a way. Ours is bigger. Yeah, ours has a little bit more space than this. Because we have a dinette and couch, and we have yeah. an L-shaped kitchen. Yeah. But we have one entrance to our bedroom. Right. Which is good for me. I like what we've got. Yeah. And the kids' closet is bigger. Yeah. Yeah, this is very lightweight thing. Though. That's a big bathroom there. Yes, it is a big bathroom. But I do like the layout like of this one. There's no slide. Right, but this is what ours would be like if we didn't have a slide. Right. Yeah. Right. It's sort of a layout. I like. I really love my old kitchen. I do too. I love our yeah, kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen is this yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Because it makes it feel so big. Well, those are some pretty big beds. And this yeah, is. Yeah, the kids want some of those. They're not good. Yeah. But it's got a one so different is it's only 4,600 pounds. Would the Fonda have towed this? I don't know. To me. Okay, so you've got a, a fold down bed about down here, or a drop down bed. Okay. And you've got bunks right here, which is awesome. Very nice pass through bathroom. It goes right into the bedroom as well. And a good size master with lots of storage. This is really cool. Big closet. Still have a TV and storage on either side of the bed. This yeah. is really great. See, I like this one because it's not the high um finishes that they try to put on a lot of them. It's that make them like million dollar. Yeah, I would rather have this any day. This is this is a class. A. a this is a class a but it's not doesn't cost 10 million dollars well and what i also like about this i don't know if any of you were like me oh. i don't like it when you enter a motor home from the driving compartment i like it when you enter from the back so for me that is a very good feature to have and this one has that so i think that's holds a lot of appeal for me personally much better you don't you enter okay. from home you come in from right there Oh, I hate that. Okay. Now this Look is a there. Little, this, this one I would say is a little bit of an upgrade from the last one we went into. It's got the drop down bed as well. A little better appointed kitchen. And you do have the bumps here like we showed you in the other one. Nice TV, dinette, couch. Really good size bathroom if you want to look. Back up a and you have your bunks for the kids with individual TVs. With individual TVs, if they're like ours, they not, might not agree on what they're going to watch. And a beautifully appointed master with great closet space. So this is my personal kind of RV because it's not. If I don't you were going to do a class A, you would kind yeah. of like something like this. Yes, because I don't care about the marble floors and that kind of thing, but this has the features that I think you're looking for where it's really elegant and really nice. But, but it's, not, it doesn't cost a fortune. Right, and it's well appointed, but this is just beautiful. I love that big, huge window. Yeah, the big, huge window is really awesome, too. Trying out the driver's seat. <laughs> 
and that's where your mats me. and stuff will go. Huge. This is probably a million dollars. Yeah. Nope, yeah, nope, this nope, is nope, the, nope, stop. <laughs> this is definitely one of the luxury ones. I'll set you <laughs> That slides out. That is cool. Yeah, you can extend it. How neat. <laughs> wow, look at this bedroom, baby. Look. Now this is a bathroom. Getting that? Yeah. This one has two bathrooms. This is about as hoity toity as I think I would get there. But you're probably the only Domestic one. Domestic refrigerator. You're the only one that could legally drive this one. <laughs> Sharon, this is, there's a washer and dryer. Wow. That was mm -hmm. Fireplace. Oh, and I bet you anything, the TV pops up out of this. There's a TV that pops up out of there. Don't even have this at home. This is better than our Double house. sinks. Of course, this is probably twice worth twice as much as my house. This is awesome. So this goes. And the kitchen extends out too? Yep. All right, write the check. Uh, yeah, right. Tell them to uh, cash it in 20 years. Fireplace. Yeah, and the TV comes out of the top. Yeah, you got a little place where there's TVs will pop up. Oh, come on. See this right here? Uh -huh. This TV will pop up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Let's see, Sharon, this one's on 27. Got a bedroom. I mean, hold, hold on to her, babe. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's just in the legs that kind of weak today. Oh, okay. Look at this one. This is a lot like Teacher Dandridge. It's exactly like it, really. Except for the bunks. They're a little bit different. They're a little bigger. We watch a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. They live out of this. They live in something like this. All year round. I can see that. Now they've got a real door on their bedroom. They've got the double entrance bedroom, but it's really, Ginger is very close to this. Yeah, because yeah. they've got the uh, bathroom with the door. Yeah, this is really nice. And they've got three children. And they live in the Mm-hmm. Which it's is a very, very small one. She, she's a big one. Make it work. Yeah, this is, these bunks are removable. Yeah, this is a really cool feature. So they you just got move, something you just like you can use this for storage. For instead. bikes or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instead of a bunkhouse if you wanted to. That's cool. Because a lot of times when you're in a campground, you use your bikes. So this one, you put your bikes right there. I know. We just uh, spruce our bikes up. Uh, they're about to close the uh, RV trade show, so we've got to hurry up and get as much as we can. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. What? Okay, I, it's got a bathroom. It has a toilet. Little tiny thing. Oh my word. 
<laughs> that is right. insane! This is a tiny little thing. That is awesome. <laughs> and about anything you tow this. What do you think about if you're going on a fishing trip or something? Yeah. Yeah. You can go anywhere in this. That a is, AC riding comfort. That is or so funny. Sleeping comfort at least. That is awesome. <laughs> My word. She's fine. That's a tiny little thing. How's it tall? That is so cool. If you want to go small and still have all the luxuries, this 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 is it. Too cool. The wet closet. Class B wet closet? Yeah. That's what I call it anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's the proper term, but I'm This is very compact, but has everything. And I think if you were just going on a road trip, like for a night, <laughs> this would be amazing. A long trip, yeah. But I wouldn't want to camp in it in a period of time. But they are so cool. <laughs> well, some people live in these. I couldn't do that, but I think they're so cool. Well, they're running us out of the trade chest. Yeah. Um, they're closing everything up. One thing about it, they, they close everything up early, which is kind of a pain. But we had some fun, and we got to come back today for free, so that was good. And we got highlights to show you that we did not have yesterday. So we'll put all this together and you'll be able to view it soon. <laughs> That's the end of the RV trade show. <laughs> One thing I'm discovering um, for me is how happy I am uh, with our camper. I think um, I see what we have and I see what's out there and I really think reinforces the fact that I think we picked the right camera for us. I truly do feel that way.